Hey folks, Adam Chow here, Place Real Estate Team O'Quinn Realty. If you're watching this, you may have followed the link from our latest newsletter, or you may have found this online regarding cash flow positive properties in Vancouver. Now, with the prices that have increased so much over the past two years, well, even the last 10 years, finding cash positive properties in Vancouver is an ever increasing challenge. I wanted to show you that it's still possible. I wanted to show you this new listing that we took, uh, and it's just gone online yesterday. And it's a cash positive condo listing. Now, I'm not suggesting you, you have to buy this property, but I just wanted to illustrate that it is still positive, is still possible rather, to find these kinds of properties in the greater Vancouver area, if not, um, if no longer downtown or, or Vancouver proper, but in some of the outlying areas. This one's in Sawasan. I want to share that with you. There's some that we've been doing recently in Abbotsford as well. So if you wanted some examples of those, you can certainly reach out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can kind of take a look at this. This is the property right here. It's actually built by Aquilini Developments. You'll probably recognize that name if you are a sports fan. It's a two-bedroom property. It's about 747 square feet. A walk-in closet in the master here. Two bathrooms. The owner of this one actually has two parking stalls and three storage lockers, believe it or not. I don't think I've ever seen a property with three storage lockers. Uh, In-suite laundry, full size, which is nice, covered balcony. Uh, there's no rental restrictions on this property. So um, you can even do uh, municipality permitting, of course, short-term rentals with a minimum of three days. The building mandates a minimum of three days. So let's go ahead. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll log in here and we'll get some more details on it. Uh, so we can run the numbers. And I'll show you how I do the analysis uh, on these particular properties. So I'm going to pull it up here on our MLS. You can see the listing right here. It's unit 224. We can see all the data here that we need. Now, I use the spreadsheet. It's a rather simple spreadsheet, but it gives me an, basically gives me an easy way uh, to compare these kind of properties. And this is how I do the analysis. So this one's listed at 539. Now, because it's an investment property, as you know, the bank requires 20% down. If you're going to live in it, if your intention is to live in the property, uh, we can work with those numbers. But if it's an investment property and the lender knows that, then it's going to be $107,000 down. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll look at the property tax here, which is $1944. We'll put that in here. And the maintenance fee we need as well, which is down here. Say 249. We'll do 249 in here. There's no CMHC fee in here because we're putting a minimum of 20% down. If we were putting less than that down, obviously there would be a, a fee for the CMHC fee here. Uh, what's interesting to note with the CMHC fee, it's a common misconception that you have to pay this fee in one go. So let's say if it was 3.1%, that fee would be $13,000. Now, that's amortized into your loan. So you're not paying the $13,000 upfront, you're paying a few more dollars every month to be able to buy this property sooner if your intention is to move in. So it's something to think about as well. In this case, there won't be any, which is great. We're gonna do a 30 year amortization on this property here. And the rental rates for this kind of property, now I'll show you, there's not many comparables to choose from. I know my client was renting this for 2100. The comparables now probably range anywhere from 2250 to 24. Um, but let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see if we do Delta actually. Let's do Delta, two bedrooms, two baths. So I want to show you some comparables here. Uh, so we've got a 2150 here, a 2700 to Austin Springs. This is this is a concrete penthouse. So probably a little higher than we would get. Um, what do we got here? 3200. Maybe it looks a little nicer than ours. to do what else have we got here Langley so I'd say it's fair to assume we're a white rock 2600 with ocean view 
let's see if we put it. so often in here. Okay, so let's let's use a, a conservative example, even if we do 2300 a month here. So we do 2300 a month on here, we're basically cash flowing positive $210,000, $210 a month. So there's really three uh, elements to an investment property. The first being the monthly cash flow. So we can see a yearly income here of about 2518. What this isn't taking into account is your insurance. Um, and there's likely there's going to be some other costs as well. So I would assume it's, it's safe to say that this would probably break even after the year is done. Uh, the other thing that we look at when we examine these kind of properties is the principal reduction that you're going to make every year. So in this case, you're going to be paying off or your tenant rather is going to be paying off about 9,900, let's say $10,000 of equity off your mortgage every year. So if your holding period is five years and you choose to sell, the market has done nothing. Let's say the market is, is equal to what it is now. You can only sell it for 539. Then you'll have $50,000 of equity that you didn't have at the start of this exercise. Make sense? And the other thing that I don't really look at, but I know a lot of people do, is capital appreciation. Now, if we use an average of 2%, that's about $10,000 a year in capital appreciation. I don't, like, I don't like to look at that figure. I like to think of that as a bonus when we sell. I'm not too focused on what the market's doing in terms of a fluctuation. I'm more focused on cash flow or break even and also the principal reduction as well. So let me know your comments. Let me know what you think about this property. If you're looking for something similar to this, and it doesn't have to be this property, uh, we can certainly put a plan in place to help you build your real estate portfolio and help you retire sooner and generate more wealth for you and your family. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll chat to you soon.